Now, when you, when you talk about plants to get into this consciousness, I mean, during the, uh, during the old days, years ago, back there in the uh, 60s and the 70s, um, you know, we, we talked about the psychedelic use of drugs and things like that. Is that the same thing? Is that what you're talking about? Well, pretty much, yeah. They're, really? Uh, well, they're, they're similar, you know, because they all have the same active, uh, active principles. They, when, you, when you put them in your body, they have an effect on you, and it's a consciousness-altering effect. So, I mean, there's, you know, of course, it's not always exactly the same, and, you know, there's differences between each of the different things. Every, every particular substance is a, is a different chemical, has a different structure, and causes a different uh, doorway to open up within the consciousness. If we look at the brain as a as, as a resonating organ, and we look at if we look at crystals like uh, like we use in our radios, they vibrate at a certain frequency. And when we put two crystals that vibrate in a certain frequency, the, the we get them vibrating in the same frequency. We can communicate with the two, so they Absolutely. resonate. They resonate with each other. They become in in unison. And the brain is the same way. When you put certain chemicals, because these chemicals are crystals. We have to remember that the, the crystalline form of these chemicals is what your brain is resonating to. So as you tune your brain with the different chemicals, the different crystals, you resonate into different multidimensional frequencies. So when you look at the way your brain works, we, we all know that there's multidimensional consciousness around there. The physicists are even telling there's multidimensional consciousness. Well, we know that through our religious history for thousands of years. That we do. They've been telling us that there's beings that exist all around us. And, you know, we just can't see them. Well, we can't see them because our brains are not resonating on the right frequency. It, or also, there, you know, there's different spectrums of light. And we, in these physical bodies, are only privy to a certain finite uh, spectrum of frequency of visible light. Now, where these things are is outside our normal visible spectrum. One of the things you can tell when, uh, if the police see somebody that looks suspicious, right? This guy looks suspicious. Oh, yeah, and they do that quite a lot. Right. He may, this guy may be high. Well, let's look at his eyes. We have to look at his eyes because if his pupils are dilated, then we know he might be on something. Uh-huh. Well, what does that tell you when the pupils are dilating? pupils dilate, you are expanding your visible frequency of light. So you are multidimensionalizing your consciousness. And that's why when people do these substances, they see into the other realms. Yet some of these substances, I'm sure, could be pretty harmful to one's body. Well, not the substances I'm talking about. No, no, and that's why I want you to clarify that for us, too. You're not talking about illegal substances here, are you? Well, uh, Sure. Some of the things that some of the things, substances that are in your brain, like dimethyltryptamine, which we're going to talk about right away, uh-huh. your brain produces that naturally. It's yes. a natural, fully powerful psychedelic produced by your brain. But if you have it in your hand, you could go to jail. <laughs> yeah, you can for a very long time. <laughs> yeah, if you had a sufficient amount of it or whatever. Right. But it's very interesting that uh, naturally induced substances. Naturally metabolized substances in the brain, if you have them in your hand, are illegal. Well, now, there's a major campaign underway, James, in this country right now that uh, basically says, say no to drugs. How do you react to something like that? 